This video is about the phase wound induction motors. Let's look into the construction and working of this motor. In this motor there is three phase double wound winding that is a standard wind. The rotor is three phase and it is a double wound or two layer winding. The rotor is wound for as many poles as a stator. So the rotor has three windings and those three windings are wound in a double layer that is the top and bottom layer and the three faces are bought out like there will be R, Y, B three faces which will be bought out and connected to the slip rings and the slip rings are connected to external circuit via brush contacts and this will help to in induce or introduce uh, resistance in the rotor circuit also the rotor are squeed as in case of uh, squirrel cage induction motor and the winding here is double distributed winding the three phase are starred internally also other ends of the winding are brought out and connected to the slip rings to the external circuit that is the external resistance circuit via brushes brushes which are connected to the slip rings and the brushes will be lifted during the normal running after the motor starting purpose is fulfilled thus addition of starting resistance is possible in case of squirrel cage induction motor this will enable the torque to be higher in case of squirrel slip ring induction motors this is how the circuit will look like so the stator winding is starred and the rotor are connected in star and the three phase are brought out and connected to the slip rings which will be connected to the external circuit via brush contacts So during regular operation the slip rings are shorted. Also brushes are lifted from the shaft. So shorted it will act like a squirrel cage shorted end rings and the brushes are lifted from the shaft and it's more or less similar operation to squirrel cage rotor is possible during the running of the motor. While the starting it is possible to have a high torque starting in case of slip ring induction motor. So slip ring induction motors are usually used for large motors where starting torque requirement is very high. Otherwise most of the motors almost 90% are squirrel cage type induction motors. That's all. If you like this video please do subscribe, like and comment.